Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So recently, this will kind of get us into the whole concept of Magisk, but pretty much specifically I'll be showing you how to uh, run Pokemon Go on a rooted device. See, in the latest update, um, you can't, well, I think it was like 0.37 of the Pokemon Go app, that you can't use it on jailbroken devices and devices, Android devices that don't pass the safety net test. Uh, well, you can see I'm rooted and basically this won't allow us to play Pokemon Go. It will say that our device software is incompatible with Pokemon Go. So there is a way around this using Magisk, our systemless way of altering the system. It's kind of like a quote from the XDA developers thread. So as you can see it doesn't work and currently as if you were following I guess my rooting tutorials and pretty much any other tutorial you'll probably, you will probably have flashed SuperSU uh, which is, where is it? Down here, isn't it? Come on. So, Super SU. So, today I'll be showing you how to uh, kind of change from Super SU to PWH's Super User, which is, or the Magisk edition at least, and that will allow us to use Pokemon Go and even Android Pay, um, which is fantastic. So, let's get started, shall we? We're going to need to download a couple of things, and I know this can apply to a lot of devices, but I want to specifically do this just for the Nexus 6P, because I think some specifications and like some in-depth, um, I'm going to say knowledge, not knowledge, but um, focus on the 6P is probably better than trying to support people with like Motorola phones, HTCs, although Magis can probably support all those as well. So to get started, we're going to have to download a couple of things here. So we're going to head over to this XDA developers thread. Uh, that will be in the more info down below. Now this one, you won't lose any data or anything like that, uh, but you might lose TWRP if we're not quick enough, and I'll explain a little bit on, on that a little later on. So a lot of features here, you can change some stuff. So here are the instructions, we need to revert back to stock, which Super SU does for us. You're going to have to remove any kind of modifications currently, so system, uh, sorry, exposed and um, anything like that you probably want to move that, remove that stuff as well. So you're gonna to have to uninstall Exposed. You can leave the modules ex installed and you can install Systemless Exposed afterwards. But since I'm on Android N, uh, that won't be happening as Exposed is not out for it just yet. So of course, we're gonna to need to download these files here. I would recommend downloading the actual, uh, well, Magis. I would recommend downloading the un uninstaller as well, just in case you need to uninstall it. You also want to download the Magis Manager. It's an APK file. And of course, so that's three files, and of course we need to download our root rooting solution. So we're going to use PWH's super user, so we can download the Magisk, Magisk version down here, of course. Now you can see, um, if you want to use SuperSU, there is a way, but um, I guess it's saying that there are problems with Android Pay support, which is of course our safety net API, when you're running both SuperSU and Exposed. But I think you can probably use it just root on its own. But we'll be using a PWH's super user instead for this one. So you click on that Magisk conversion, and of course you're going to keep that Play Store link a little handy because that is our client or our that that is the app that we're going to use to manage the super user requests. So once you have these three files downloaded, I've just have them saved in a folder here. So we've got the uninstaller, we've got Magisk, and we've got PWH's super user for Magisk as well. So all those three files you're gonna to want to copy over to your device. So we'll just, uh, I'll just show that real quick. So we're gonna go back to our device here. It's already plugged in. We are going to do that. And we are going to make sure that's plugged in and we're gonna see how it's not plugged in at the moment. We're gonna to have to re-plug in our device, just like so. And then tap on USB charging for this device. And then we're gonna change it to transfer files. And now something should pop up on our computer here. If I open up a new window, go to Nexus 6P, Shared Internal Storage. You can see I already have these three files copied down below. But all you have to do is select them all and drag them into an empty space here. And I'm just going to copy and replace all the files. So we're going to have three of them. Don't mind this Super SU here, it's just from uh, previously previous testing of course. So once you have that installed, we're going to uninstall Super SU. And now that, that will be easier than you think. So all we need to do is go to the SuperSU app, and it's already here. 
And we're going to tap on the settings tab down here and we're going to scroll down all the way to full unroot near where it says clean up. We're going to tap on that and we're going to hit continue. So we're going to lose root access and it's going to uninstall this um, app. And you can see that uh, it's just telling you that some kernels may reroot at boot. So we're going to hit yes. And we're also going to hit yes to attempt to restore the stock boot image, which is what we need. And it will tell you that um, this will, if you have a modified boot image or something like that, it may re-encrypt your data partition. And we're going to hit yes. And this last one, attempt to restore uh, stock recovery image. You can hit no for this one because we will need TWRP. But anyways, once this finishes, we want to hold the buttons here to get into the bootloader. So it gives you a couple of seconds. But if you can't get in there, just press the power button to pause boot and we're going to force power this off. I've had experiences where uh, once the device starts booting, it will actually replace TWRP with the stock, fact, uh, stock recovery image, which is not what we want. So I'm going to hold uh, power and volume down just for now until our device turns off. And then I'm going to keep holding this until we go into the bootloader. And once we're in the bootloader, we're going to go to recovery mode. And that will take us hopefully into TWRP. If not, we're just going to have to reflash it quite simply. OK, so we're in TWRP, so it hasn't been erased uh, we're replaced. We're going to type put in our pattern or our pin or passcode to decrypt our data partition. Same as your lock screen code. And we're going to have that mounted real quick. And all we have to do now is tap on install. Scroll down to wherever we saved uh, Magisk. So that uh, there it is, version 6. And remember always to download the latest version. So this will be quite quick. It's going to patch our boot image for it to work. And that's going to be it. So we're going to hit back. And we're going to flash the PHH super user zip for Magisk. Oops, wrong one. That one. And we're going to swipe to flash that one as well. And that's done. And we're going to hit reboot system. So at this point, we're going to go back to our phone. And we're going to install the Magisk manager APK. And of course, the PWH's super user as well. So I think this boot up shouldn't take too long, but I'll see you when our phone boots all the way up. Alrighty, so as you can see, our device has just finished turning on, getting all its stuff ready, which is great. Um, you're going to notice that we don't have SuperSU anymore. Nothing out of there. And what we need is PWH's, PWH's SuperSU and of course the Magisk Manager. So we're gonna, we are going to install Magisk Manager first. So hop over to your favorite file browser and we're going to locate wherever our APK is in, installed. So there it is there. I'm going to tap on install. You're also going to, if it tells you that you can't install it because you have the unknown sources unchecked, just go into settings and check that. So once that's done, we're going to hit done and not worry about that just yet. And we're going to go to our Play Store and install PWH's SuperSU. Uh, sorry, not SuperSU, SuperUser. So to do this, we're just going to type in PWH. And that is the first one down there. We're going to tap on Install and Accept. And that is going to download our SuperUser Manager app to work with, our, with PWH's SuperUser. So once that is done, we're going to wait for it. Uh, we're going to, we don't need to open it or anything. So we'll just wait for that to finish installing and we'll head open or head over to the Magisk Manager where we'll toggle the root and see if Pokemon Go works and which it should. So we're going to give it a couple more seconds and I'll just open the app for now. So under M, we're going to go to Magisk Manager. So you can see up there it's done. And as you see, it's up here. I'm going to open that. You can see that root is mounted and also the SE Linux status is set to enforcing. Best thing to leave that. And if we toggle this, it should ask for root access. So it's already um, granted it, but usually it'll pop up and you're going to have to grant it SuperSU permission by tapping the radio button around here, saying to always remember selection and then tapping on accept. So once this is not mounted, you can go back home and open up Pokemon Go and it should work just fine. So we're going to give it a couple seconds for it to load and we should be able to load ourselves in.
And there we go. Remember to stay alert at all times and be aware of your surroundings. So there we go. We've got the buddy system down there as well with my goal bat. So that's about it, guys. It does work. Um, you can take a look at my crappy Pokemon. I don't really play this much, but that's all right. So yeah, that's how we do it. And we have our super user app up there. And you can see Magisk Manager is already allowed. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. And of course, I'll be probably putting up some more different um, Magisk tutorials, such as Systemless Exposed, uh, when I get back down to Marshmallow, of course. Or if maybe by then, they'll have it working for Android N, which is exciting. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. And I still have tutorials, I mean, some suggestions to go through as well. Uh, so if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave it down below as well. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.